In this screencast, I want to review some of the differences that you will find in the organizational structure of Google Drive versus Google Docs. Once you make the transition to Google Drive, you'll see that up in the top left-hand corner, it will say Google Drive. I'm in my personal account right now, not a Google Apps for Education account. Um, and so I just want to show you a couple of the different things. First of all, everything will be moved over into Google Drive without you having to worry about um, anything. But once you get into Google Drive, it's going to be organized a little bit differently. So it used to say Home up on the top, which included most of your items unless you decided to hide them from the home. So instead you'll have My Drive, and under My Drive will all be all of the collections, which are now called folders, that you've created or that you've shared with other people. The biggest difference is that you used to have something called collections that were shared with me. And right here you also have shared with me, but as it's organized or originally, you may not find the different collections now called folders that were shared with you. So um, there are a couple differences in this. So when you are on the shared with me, over on the top right hand corner there's actually a sort button and if you sort by title then all of your shared folders will now come to the top before all the rest of the documents that are shared with you. Now the things that are shared with me don't necessarily show up in my drive. You can drag anything in the shared with me folder something like this collection or folder I can now drag it into my drive and then it will be placed in my drive so you can see that I didn't create this folder or some of these folders down here but since I dragged them into my drive now that they live there so you might want to spend some time organizing the shared with me folders into your my drive the next thing that's sort of different is that um, down here on the bottom is where you would find the all items. Now when you find, when you're clicked on all items, you're seeing everything that's in shared and everything that's in my drive. So if you do need to scroll through all items or you can use the sort button to now start finding a few things. So last edited, last modified, last opened, title and quota used. When I use this sometimes is when I upload something to Google Drive and I can't find it in order to organize it into one of my folders. So if I do upload something, um, I go to all items, I sort by last edited by me because that will um, bring the things that I've uploaded most recently to the top and um, when it's uploaded it consi considers it an edit. But as in Google Docs, you probably became very familiar with the search box up on the top. The search box is absolutely the best way to find anything in Google, Do in Google Drive because when you do the search box, it's searching my drive, it's searching shared with me, it's searching the all items, it's searching absolutely everything. So if I ever need to find anything, then this is really the best place that you just start typing the word that you need. When you type, if you type something like Midwest, these are all the documents that are pretty recent that have the word Midwest in the title. But now if I do Midwest and click return, it's going to show me all the documents that, that have the word Midwest somewhere in the document or in the title. I can then use the sort feature if I want to sort by last modified or if I sort by something that's um, Google thinks is the most relevant to me. So again, in my drive, now things are called folders and you can always create a new folder by going to the create folder button. Things that are shared, when you have it shared with me, you can keep it in the shared with me or you can drag it into my drive. Knowing that to find your folders, you have to sort by title. And then down here in the all items is the place that you can find anything that is in your Google Drive. The search bar up on the top again is the best way for you to find anything. Not very many people know about the advanced toolbar or the advanced search options too, that if you're just looking for presentations that have to do with Chrome, then I have the search box um, says it's only looking for presentations on Chrome. So then it will only search for presentations. You can also search for um, the way that things are shared 
if it's owned by you or not owned by you, and then all the different types of documents that you can. You can then just delete all of the different search items out of your search bar up on the top. Another thing that's new with Google Drive is the ability to view your documents in a grid. So when you view your documents in a grid, you can start seeing what they look like, um, just as a quick little um, visual. And um, so that's kind of nice as well. Another feature um, that's sort of nice to note is that when you are in a, um, let's say that you're using a paperless classroom and you have students turn things into you into a folder that you've created and you're now ready to grade all of these students' papers. You could search for each student by name. You could quick, you know, click on the actual folder and you could click on each individual item. But one of the cool things that um, you can do too is if you actually um, click on the little drop down menu next to a folder, and if you say open this folder, once you open the folder, you can see all the different documents that you have in that folder, and then you can quickly flip through them if it was student to student being able to fully engage and interact with the document over here on this side. So hopefully you've learned a little bit about the differences between Google Docs and Google Drive and you're able to navigate more efficiently and effectively.